In our culture, numbers are everywhere. Phone numbers, bank numbers, license numbers. Every day we remember and use many of these numbers over and over again. But doctors at Mayo Clinic say most of us don't know or even think about the most important numbers, our heart health numbers. Here are the numbers you need to know to prevent a heart attack or stroke. 14. Go. Like cribbage, sudoku, or the lottery, improving your heart health is a numbers game. To have fun with uh, knowing your numbers and trying to make them better. Mayo Clinic Dr. Gerald Fletcher says to play the game, you have to know the four most important numbers to good heart health. First, get your blood pressure taken. It causes heart failure, it causes hearts to get weak, it causes heart attack, and it causes stroke. Your numbers should be no higher than 120 over 80. 115 over 75 is better yet. Next, cholesterol. The cholesterol level is vastly important. The higher it is, most likely, more likely you are to have a heart attack or a blockage of your arteries or some problem with the circulation to the heart. Keep your total cholesterol lower than 200. Now, blood sugar. Your level should be 100 or lower. If it's higher than that, you're at increased risk of adult onset diabetes. And finally, waist circumference. For women, your waist should be no larger than 35 inches. For men, 40 inches. And remember, it's a game. Challenge yourself to learn these numbers and do what you can to get them where they ought to be. So many people can control their blood pressure, as well as their blood cholesterol, as well as their waist circumference as well as their glucose if they exercise properly, control their weight, and uh, live a healthy lifestyle. Lifestyle choices that can help you win the heart numbers game. Sometimes no matter how hard you try to control your numbers with diet and exercise, it just doesn't work. In that case, there are medications that can help. You also can't do anything about your family history. If your relatives have heart problems, you might too. So be sure to work with a health care provider to help you get those numbers where they should be. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.